told him to get in tune. You already know what time it is when you clicked on the vid. It's King Tweezy, reviewing all the latest of kicks and got ones off whites and New Balance's hometown. Hit the like button and subscribe, and it's going down. It's authentic when it's real, you ain't gotta check. Multiple cops, sneaker app, yeah, the triple threat. I heard they trying to change the way, but you keep spinning. You know it's hard to take a L when you keep winning. Unboxings and on feats too. It's a struggle as a sneaker head, but we got shoes. Best friend from high school, yeah. That's him and the fits they torch from the shoes to the brims. King Tweezy, damn right, you know the name, King Tweezy. Yeah, you now watching King Tweezy. Okay, okay, it's King Tweezy. Yeah, you know what it is, right? King Tweezy, DMV. It's your boy King Tweezy, aka your struggling sneaker head, aka your best friend from high school, back in the building with another video for you. And you are tuned to the number one most authentic channel on this here platform. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another special episode. This time, we got some dunks, y'all. Matter of fact, we got some Virgil off white dunks for y'all today. That's right, your boy got lucky and hit on the sneakers app. It's been a while since I hit on the sneakers app. I've been catching L after L after L after L. Just like everybody else. That's why I'm the struggling sneaker head just like you guys because I don't get my hands on everything. Now, I know I get my hands on early pairs here and there, here and there, things like that. And I bring the content for you guys. But those shoes are not for my personal collection. A lot of those shoes are not for my personal collection. So that's why I say I'm definitely a struggling sneaker head. I take L's, y'all. I take L's. Flex app, L's. Sneakers app, L's. First come, first serve most of the time. Ails. That's how I am the struggle to see here just like you guys, but I'm able to bring you guys all the early reviews. So like for a prime example, you got your Lucky Green 13s, and then you got your Royal 14s that just recently came out. Neither one of those two shoes, plus a couple more, I did not do a review on. I just didn't feel the need to actually do a review on the shoe. But if you guys actually want to see me bring that honest review for you guys, that's what the comment section is down there for. Hit that comment section up below. Let me know what shoes you guys want me to bring to you guys. But if it's a shoe that I cannot get my hands on, you might gotta ship it. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm really off today. I don't feel like myself right now. I'm, I've cut a lot of times going into this video, but I'm gonna try to get through this video for y'all. I don't know what's going on with me today. My lighting is kind of messing up with me. I think it's my camera. I don't know what's going on, but I'm a little off today. Let's keep going. But before we get any further into this video, of course, I need y'all to do three quick things for your boy. One, hit that like button if you dig what I'm doing, especially for these off-white ducks. These are dope, I think. I've never seen or touched them before, so it's definitely going to be something different. Of course, too, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're on the road to 1,500. I think we're about 20 away. I'm not sure. We are close. Yes, my lighting is definitely messing with me. I'm off. And of course, number three, y'all hit that notification bell that's right beside us so you can be notified of every single video that I drop. Now with all that out of the way, y'all, let's get into these shoes. And here we go, y'all, here we go, y'all, here we go, y'all. Nike sneakers app, tape box. I don't know a lot of y'all be a lot, a lot of fraudulent stuff has been going on lately. So I'll let y'all know my box is still fully intact. You know, they do sloppy jobs sometimes, but it is still fully intact. Straight from the Nike sneakers. We're gonna dive into these things, man. Now I know these shoes are gonna be crazy because Virgil's always doing something wild. Y'all already know. Well, I'm not sure if you guys know, but on Instagram and Twitter and things of that nature. He has been posting like little leaks and stuff about he doing collaborations with BMW, all types of stuff. Virgil is definitely doing this thing. These are definitely no shortcomings. These debuted at the Tokyo Fashion Show. He's always doing something wild and crazy. I'm actually excited to see what these are. So let's go ahead and dive into these. Let's not waste no more time. All right, so guys, dive into this box. I think it's safe to say now that this is your standard off-white dunk box. I think this is safe to say that. Of course, they're still not printing any. <laughs> of course, they're not printing any receipts, so there's still no receipts in the box. Of course, everything gotta be verified through that little email receipt you have or through the app itself. Now, looking at the tag, the tag reads Nike Air Rubber Dunk slash Off White Black White Green Strike. This is a size 13. Your boy did get his personal pair. Go ahead and check out that label right there. Yes indeed, yes indeed. Now of course, like all the standard off-white boxes comes with a whole bunch of holes, and of course you got your Nike check on top. Now of course, diving into this box, we got your standard off-white paper that's right here on top. 
way of peeling back this off like paper underneath that you got your Nike paper that comes in most of your Nike boxes sitting there right there as well you put pulling this paper back and <laughs> yes indeed yes indeed and I don't know how to feel about these now these are definitely different these are definitely different let me put this box down y'all y'all already know and here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to feel about these. I honestly don't know how to feel about these. Now, everybody was talking about bowling shoes, bowling shoes, bowling shoes. Now, for me, as an actual bowler, y'all seen it in my intro, I am a bowler. These are, in fact, some official bowling shoes with an air bubble. These are dope. <laughs> these are dope bonus shoe because that toe box is ugly y'all now i'm being honest the toe box is ugly so y'all already know let me put this shoe down we're gonna dive further into the shoe i'm gonna give you my honest opinion on this shoe all right shana this shoe is hilarious to me because like i said this shoe is in fact the bowling shoe it really is but before i get further into it this shoe came out in three different colorways you got your black the white and of course the green stripe version you got three different colorways of this shoe. I couldn't, I honestly can't even tell you which one's the better one. I don't know. I, I would probably, I we might have to go with this one. I honestly, I mean, it's the only one I've seen in hand, you know, and I'm able to really get my hands on to actually feel this shoe out. I wonder how they feel on feet, but I mean, are we going to get into all of that? We definitely going to get into all of that. This is definitely a first hand look on how I honestly feel about the shoe. I'm honestly I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. It may grow on me over time. It may even grow on me after I do the on feet and as I get further along into this video. But I'm not even gonna hold y'all up with all that. Let's go ahead and get up close so you guys get a nice good look at these. Let's go. Oh what man! <laughs> here we go, here we go. This is a very unique shoe. I will say that. This Nike Dunk rubber dunk is a very unique shoe this shoe features the old school dunk sole and you tie that old school dunk sole with the upper from the early 2000s and you mix it together and it, it kind of was social media too social media kind of put the name together which is the rubber dunk that's how the name came about actually social media had a huge part and the naming of this shoe. But getting into this shoe, I love the green color of this shoe. The green on this shoe is definitely nice. I'm digging the green, but of course, underneath the whole entire shoe, I'm sure you guys can see it, let's get up close. This shoe has mesh underneath the entire shoe. The entire upper of the shoe is mesh, even on the toe box. The toe box is also mesh. Everything underneath the shoe is all mesh, including the tongue. Coming up here to the tongue, I do like the Nike off. And then of course, I untied the shoestring so you guys can get a nice good look at how they still kept the traditional cut on the fabric with the off-white. That is a nice foam that they added with that tongue. That is a nice fat tongue, pause. Now with this off-white tag, this is not your traditional off-white tag. It is blank on both sides. And it is also suede. This is a suede tag. I'm not sure if you guys can see the fabric in it but that is not a plastic that is a suede on the tab so that's a nice little different touch that he added on to it and of course you can't go wrong with the nike air on the back that is a nice touch as well it's just that the shoe overall it just does not hit for me and of course you got your off-white branding on insides of both uppers on both shoes and of course you guys can also see that mesh that's going underneath the shoe as well and of course with the final touches they added some green laces into the mix as well you cannot go wrong with green laces i think green laces will definitely make the shoe pop just a little bit more on that tongue area for sure for sure and of course you got your orange off-white tag right there and then you got your nice volt green nike swoosh the shoe is okay but it's just not my style this is an authentic bowling shoe but that's enough of that, y'all. Let's go ahead and hop back in front. Let's go. Right back in front, y'all. This is definitely a bowling shoe. I wish I had my bowling shoes in the house with me right now because I would definitely do a side-by-side -side comparison. My bowling shoes are in the trunk, so stay tuned to my Instagram. Hit my Instagram and the link down below. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison because this is a bowling shoe. I have a bowling shoe that looks exactly like this. Just It's orange instead of green. It's crazy. 
So y'all already know I'm excited your boy got his personal size, so I am gonna throw these things on feet for you guys. And of course, y'all already know I'm gonna get up close, give you guys a look, my no hands look, so you guys get a real nice, good look at this shoe without me holding it, of course. That's always the best way. So with all that out of the way, I'm excited to see how these feel on feet. Y'all already know what it is, man. Let's get into it. Let's go. My passion for the game like number 23. So when I'm dead and gone, they gon' remember me. I'm from the Merlin section of the DMV. In a world of role players, I'm an MVP. My passion for the game like number 23. Ay. So when I'm dead and gone, they gon' remember me. Ay. I'm from the Merlin section of the DMV. Ay. In a world of role players, I'm an MVP. That's why they envy me. When you young, black, and gifted, they gon' hate the way you move. Cause nine times out of ten, they can't relate. They try to slander your name, but it's never face to face. Anything to try to alter your fate, that's the price that you pay. When you great, you gotta sacrifice. By any means necessary, if you bought that life. A lot of people, big dreams. But they think too little Never settle Reach for the sky Like the jump man symbol As a kid I thought my shoes Would help me play better My favorites were The Jordan 1's 4's and 11's My mama couldn't afford them Nah we wasn't the poor It's seen a struggle So the brand I wore Just wasn't important My passion for the game Like number 23 So when I'm dead and gone They gon' remember me I'm from the Merlin section Of the DMV In a world of role players I'm an MVP My passion for the game Like number 23 So when I'm dead and Gone, they gon' remember me. Ay. I'm from the Merlin section of the DMV. Ay. In a world of role players, I'm an MVP. I always had that Hall of Fame mindset before I got a vote. Yep. Instead of sideline hating, you should take notes. Sure. Gotta make your team better, listen to your coach. Without that support, it ain't no way that I would be the GOAT. Huh. Facts, you gotta learn to crawl before you walk. Keep your mouth closed and listen when you finally learn to talk. Perfecting your fundamentals So when you learn to run You'll understand this game ain't about Cherry pick and try and dunk By the time you learn to jump You maintain composure even when you feel a rush 17 seconds left and you get a pluck That's more than enough time No pressure, no rush The competition, Brian Russell And you Jordan in the clutch it's been a long time coming I waited my whole life for this Now my swagger like swish uh, I got the gift. Put me in the game, coach, I won't miss. My passion for the game, like number 23. So when I'm dead and gone, they gon' remember me. I'm from the Merlin section of the DMV. In a world of role players, I'm an MVP. My passion for the game, like number 23. Ay. So when I'm dead and gone, they gon' remember me. Ay. I'm from the Merlin section of the DMV. Ay. In a world of role players, I'm an MVP. That's why they envy me. Yeah. Now hold on real quick, y'all. Hold on one second. Here go a bowling shoe. I had a bowling shoe in the trunk. Tell me these ain't identical. Tell me these don't look like bowling shoes, y'all. <laughs> I know I ain't tripping. I got a better looking one in the trunk. But this one was in the closet. I, I probably wore these a couple of times to practice. With bowling shoe white like that. Identical, y'all. <laughs> My passion for the game like number 23 So when I'm dead and gone, they gon' remember me I'm from the Merlin section of the DMV In a world of role players, I'm an MVP My passion for the game like number 23 Ay. So when I'm dead and gone, they gon' remember me <laughs> There you go, y'all, we got your Nike Air Rubber Dunk There's not no Nike Air Dunk, you can't say none of that You gotta make sure you put that Rubber Dunk on it This is the Nike Air Rubber Dunk Honestly, guys it feels like a normal dunk on feet. There's nothing really special. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look at these insoles for you guys. Definitely want you guys to know what's going on, how everything is. That's how the insole should sound when you pull it out for the first time, by the way. So of course it doesn't have the cushion because this is not a Nike SB dunk. This is a regular Nike dunk, so you have your regular Nike cushion and then you have your off-white insoles. That's all that comes in. It's pretty dope. So it feels like your traditional Nike dunk, like I said. Nothing real special as far as comfort wise, but it is a nice secure fit on your foot. I will say that it does fit nicely around your foot. The rubber, I'm not sure how that will feel after a wear over a long period of time because I know rubber isn't the real 
most comfortable material to actually be walking around on. But for you know short periods of time, it was it was cool. It was, it was some regular dunk. But like I said, for three hours, four hours of wear, an extensive walking, that I don't know. That would have to be a nice little test for you know further on down the line. But y'all already know I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I love it all that rapping. This shoe is one of a kind, I shall say. It's definitely one of a kind. It's definitely something different. But y'all already know we gotta rate the shoe. We cannot leave without rating the shoe. We gotta rate it one out of 10. I'll let you guys go ahead and get your types in. Get your types in what you guys think, what you guys think. Me, honestly, I'm gonna have to go with a four. I'm gonna have to go with a four at this one. It's not my, honestly, it's not my style of silhouette. I'm not a fan of the the toe box. I'm not a fan of the little shapes, of the little slash futuristic type, bullish looking type. I'm just not a fan of all of that. Even I don't even think the color would kind of justify any of that. Cause like I said, the toe box, that's pretty ugly. The on foot look, uh, I'm gonna have to go back and look and see how they look on feet. On feet pictures aren't that bad, don't get me wrong. They're not that bad looking at them on somebody else's feet. Like I said, it might be a shoe that grew on you down the line. So with that being said, the prices aren't that bad. These definitely came out in a full size run. So if you wanna get your hands on a pair, grab them now before they go up, if they go up. I'm not, you know, I'm not a reseller, so don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure. If this is something that you're definitely be digging, I would definitely say get your hands on this as soon as possible because the prices aren't that bad. I was expecting them to be around the fives, you know, the sixes, but they're in the threes. Some are even, some sizes are even in the twos. So definitely, they retailed at 190. So I mean, you're not, I mean, you're kind of not really, you're not really missing out on much. So it's actually a good deal in that aspect. But y'all already know, man, I ain't even gonna hold y'all up when I'm not rapping. Of course, there's so many other videos to watch. And I know you got more to watch, and a couple is gonna pop up on the screen shortly. Hit that like button, y'all already know what it is, man. You win some, and you lose some. But you later cop another day. It's your boy King Tweezy, y'all. And I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't nothing worth having to come easy. Shout out to King Tweezy. <laughs> Mr. Bear.